back. Road Rants for the Black and White Network. Well, I was waiting for this from somebody somewhere that was going to go through the mental gymnastics to make the coverage of the Ukraine crisis a racist or racial issue. I knew it would happen. And leave it to this lunatic to be the one that, that did it, the author of the 1619 Project, New York Times journalist. So even herself is a lunatic member of the media. Uh, but somehow, people being concerned for the people in the Ukraine that makes you racist, and it shows racial biases. Okay. My God. Fox News. New York Times journalist Nicole Hannah-Jones offered a surprising take. It is not surprising to me, Fox News. Sorry. On Sunday, that the ongoing Russian invasion of the Ukraine and its media coverage... The 1619 Project author commented on a local writer's description, quote, incidents of insidious racism in the media, claiming that concern is only for, quote, Europeans with blonde hair and blue eyes. Wow, man. Hannah Jones agreed with the writer on the radicalized analysis. Quote, every journalist covering Ukraine should... Really, really look internally. (laughs) Fuck. This is why I say we should stop pretending we have objectivity and instead acknowledge our biases so we can report against them. Many of us see the radicalized analysis and language Hannah Jones tweeted. God, that's crazy as hell. She also added that the admissions of shock... For Ukraine suggests a racial bias due to lack of attention for non-white nations. Quote, and honestly, these admissions of shock that this is happening in a European country are a historical and also serve to justify the lack of sympathy for other invasions, other occupations, and other refugee crises involving people not considered white. <laughs> Man. I mean, we knew we had to be uh, uh, headed down, headed down this uh, this path. I mean, I could feel it. When a Twitter user criticized her take as well as its timing, she responded. The user said, "I don't think this is the time to focus on that. Maybe in a few years from now, but not today, not tomorrow, or next week." She came back and said, that's absolutely ridiculous. Journalists shouldn't focus on improving their coverage real-time, question mark. That's called a lack of self-awareness by her. She followed up with an additional tweet that was, quote, a geopolitical fiction to separate Europe from Asia so that an invasion can be a, quote, dog whistle to tell us we should care because they are like us. Wow. Still, she insisted, to be clear, we should care about Ukraine. (laughs) Ha! It's too little too late for that. (laughs) Just come out and say, and and look, I'm going to be real here. Just come out and say, because these people look white, you don't give a fuck about them. How about we just go there? Well, I just went there. But not because it is European or appear people appear white or they are civilized or not impoverished all people deserve to be free and to be welcomed when their countries are at war it is too little too late this is the lunatic right here that uh made these comments hannah jones has frequently made controversial claims on her twitter account sometimes deleting them later her 1619 project was also heavily criticized as a distorted and accurate depiction of history, despite earning Hannah, Hannah Jones a out of a paper bag Pulitzer Prize for her work. And yeah, there are places that are teaching that uh, total and complete made up false narrative horseshit uh, piece of junk um, history lesson at this point. Let's be real, it's total crap. It is what it is. History is what it is, too. I mean, you can't change it, and you shouldn't be erasing it, and you shouldn't be pulling down statues because of it. 
for crying out loud. Look, this is just... She's complaining about the coverage, and she's complaining about the media, but in herself, she's not literally recognizing the fact that she is so woke. She's a racist-ass bitch. She can't notice that. I think she's fully aware of that, and I think she doesn't give a damn. She just wants to come out and say, you know what? I don't like white people, and I don't give a damn what happens to them. Well, it's not a surprise that she's a leftist. I mean, let's be real. The KKK was born out of the Democratic leftist uh, party, and she just happens to be an ultra-radicalized version of it. I mean, this is crazy. I would say it's crazy. It's just not anymore. I mean, this crap is not crazy anymore. People like her, they shouldn't. I mean, they shouldn't be allowed to write or anything. They're dangerous to this country. They feel treasonous to me. But, you know, I I keep saying that. They hate our country. They disrespect our flag. They don't look at it with the same pride. And look, that's a them problem. That's, as far as I'm concerned, that's a her problem. All right? Uh, so, um, crazy, crazy. And the lack of self-awareness. Somebody even tried to tell her, look, Maybe there's value in some of what you're saying, but maybe this isn't the right time when people are literally dying. And she's like, nah, don't care. Fuck them, basically. I mean, excuse my language in this video, but uh, she's radical. It's upsetting uh, considering what's going on with those people over there right now and what they're having to deal with. If anybody's seen the lady that's been on Fox News regularly uh, with her baby. They're they're in a bomb shelter. I mean, it is absurd that somebody would make a dumb, stupid, in my opinion, dangerous kind of comment for her to have any kind of a platform. It just seems ludicrous to me. Tell me what you think, black and white network fans. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.